Nearly 1,700 accepted high school seniors and their parents flocked to UNCW this weekend for the school's annual Dare to Soar. UNCW campus police are investigating two suspicious fires that have occurred over the past 24 hours. A week ago, Wikipedia blocked its site out for a day, while Google and other large internet websites put black over their logos. There are over 130 emergency call boxes on UNCW's campus, but how effective are they really? Stay tuned to Seahawk Central News to hear more. The odds were definitely in the Hunger Games' favor, as the film brought in a record-breaking $155 million at the box office opening weekend. And at this time, we'd like to take a moment to thank one of our biggest sponsors, Park Chevrolet. Thanks to Park Chevrolet, kids that may not have an opportunity to be able to attend camp have been given that chance. The UNCW men's basketball team kicks off its season this evening with their first exhibition game against North Carolina Wesleyan. North Carolina Wesleyan's Evan Collins pushes up the floor and channels his inner Allen Iverson, finishes with a layup and one. Chancellor Gary Miller has taken an interesting approach to spreading Seahawk pride. He has started an initiative with assistant Jenny Harris to paint the town teal.